Okay, so hello YouTube, my name is Vlad and this will be, I hope, a quick repair. Well, it won't be quick because I've already, uh, I think, figured out what's the issue. So get a lot of this. This computer actually turns on. Sorry. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, this thing is connected to this power and this thing is a reset. Bad idea. Anyway, oh, sorry. I do need to plug it in. Okay, let's turn it on. Now, as you can see, this thing actually starts to boot. But on my uh, professional testing screen, nothing actually shows. Sorry. So, the next thing that I did is I actually reseated the RAM. Now, uh, before, actually, before I reseated the RAM, I checked uh, if there are any puffed up comp uh, capacitors. And uh, there aren't. And why I checked that? Well, uh, these ones I actually replaced some time ago. This is a friend's computer and his kids use it for watching YouTube so he does not want to spend any extra money on it. I even gave him some RAM. So after I reseated the RAM and I actually before, before all of that I changed the thermal paste on the CPU and whatnot and as I said I uh, checked for the capacitors, I was uh, out of the idea. So I thought maybe the USB had something inserted in it and it was making a short circuit. Uh, but again it wasn't. So the next thing I actually decided to check, and let me show you in just a second, uh, was uh, actually whether this thing, uh, uh, whether this uh, little chip uh, has gone crazy. And why did I check this particular chip? This is actually a network chip. And as you can see, this uh, computer already has uh, external, I would say, PCI uh, LAN, PCI LAN card, and uh, sometimes Actually, in about 50%, uh, this chip goes wrong and nothing happens, so it's dead. But in other 50%, after some time, it just goes crazy. So what I will be doing is resolve, uh, removing this chip and trying then to turn on the computer. And, okay, before all that I did uh, check the BIOS battery, because if the battery is dead, uh, some computers do not boot. So, uh, I will be trying to remove this chip, and this chip is oh, actually quite hot. Now let me show you. Uh, now this is actually a piece of shit, which I actually spend a lot of money on, but whatever. Anyway, so, as you can see, this is 31 degrees. This little chip is here, and here is like 44 degrees. It's a lot, but not, not too much. And this one is 76 degrees. So obviously something is actually happening in there, 75, 74. So, uh, I will be removing it and trying to, well, boot the computer. So I won't be actually uh, removing this motherboard. I am a bit too lazy, but there is nothing that can actually melt underneath this chip. So, uh, I do need to remove this card. And I do need some tweezers. Also I, need, also, I need to put other tip on this soldering iron, which will be this one, because, well, I will need to clean this afterwards. <laughs> I do need to get my sponge wet, just a second. Now, whether this uh, computer is sponge worthy, time will tell. Now, in normal circumstances, I would put some flux, but... Uh... So, the chip has been removed. And it fell. Huh. Now, I do have this one, although, which is my good one. Which is... Actually, I use it for uh, soldering chips onto motherboards. So, El Cheapo is gone, oh well, I need to buy some off of eBay. Oh, got the chip. So, this is actually done and I will be showing you just what it looks like. So as you can see the chip is no more and this actually looks rather decent. Now there are no contacts whatsoever. It just looks like that way but there aren't. 
So let's try to turn this thing on and to see whether it will boot or not. Okay, so I've hooked everything up and uh, let's see whether it will boot or not. I don't need to press my reset button. <laughs> so yeah, let me turn off the lights. <laughs> yes. So yeah, um, there you have it. This is actually a dead giveaway. So if you have a sorry, if you if you have a, this type of external card, I would say PCI card, that means that uh, well, at one time in this motherboard's life or any motherboard motherboard's life, Thunder has uh, struck uh, the router and uh, LAN port got burned. So uh, this is this is actually, believe it or not, not that uh, uncommon problem. So. Uh, yeah, and basically the repair is simple, you can actually remove this thing without any professional equipment, even if you have this uh, heat gun for uh, paint removal. Okay, bear in mind, the heat gun for paint removal is not the best tool for such job, but as I said, uh, it is an, a rather relatively easy repair. So there you have it, this is actually working and I can actually return this thing to a friend. I will be cleaning it because it is bloody dirty. So, okay, uh, to sum everything up, first of all, you need to reset memory. Then, you can remove this uh, heat fan, uh, heat sink, sorry, uh, and check whether the CPU is getting hot or not. Of course, don't do that for a minute because you'll burn your fingers and in the process CPU, especially if it is an AMD. But if it is not heating uh, up, that means that there is something wrong with the motherboard. Now you can actually uh, diagnose uh, and whatnot, but um, if it is heating up, then what you should do next is maybe check the battery again. If the battery is dead, uh, uh, the motherboard, some motherboards will not boot. And the last thing you can actually check is this chip if it is getting hot. Now, bear in mind that this one was at 70 degrees Celsius, uh, it can get up to 100, so lick your finger and then pss, touch it, so touch it real, qu real quickly. Um, yeah, and that is, I believe, pretty much it. And also, always check to see whether the capac capacitors are uh, puffed up, because if they are, um, uh, the chances are your computer is either rebooting or uh, not turning on or turning off. So, a lot of problems come from capacitors. There you have it. Bye.